Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about AUD USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders with so COD data. So essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're moving their orders. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which at the moment is testing a quite strong monthly demand and support area. In fact, from here, all this previous rejection to the upside was created. The market then broke below the zone, broke back above, and at the moment it is retesting this area as support. And there is a possibility from here to see a rejection to the upside, creating an inverted head and shoulders with the left shoulder here, the head here, and the right shoulder here. We can also notice that from a pattern standpoint, we have a quite clear impulse followed by this correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And at that point, that would give you a 50% and 0.618 Fibonacci retracement levels, lining up exactly with this previous level of monthly demand and support in the same area of price, therefore creating a confluence of support inside of this area, which we could in fact expect this market to potentially want to reject to the upside. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Well, from a weekly standpoint, what we can notice is that at the moment we do have quite strong historical structure at this area. This zone was acting as previous weekly support here, turn resistance here, again here and again here. Then the market broke back above the level and it started acting as support. And now the market is once again inside of this area. Therefore, there is a possibility to see some bullish price action being created away from this zone and for the market to once again respect this area as structure, in this case, structure support. Dropping down the daily time frame, what do we see? Now here in the daily, this is where things get quite interesting because if from here the market will create a push higher, this would actually create a bearish pattern from a daily perspective because if we get this push higher, this would create a W formation. And after the creation of a W, what you would generally expect is first a correction and then the continuation higher. So there is a possibility first to see a correction and only at that point to see the continuation to the upside, but approaching the situations one at the time, if from here the market pushes higher, there is first the possibility to see the market here provide a correction, therefore completing the W formation and only at that point to see the continuation to the upside. So essentially for the market to start creating an uptrend, so starting to create higher highs and higher lows, but the first move, if we get this push higher, would be that of a potential correction. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COD data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing, and we check the data precisely for the AUD, the first thing that we have to keep in mind is that if we're checking the data for the AUD, we are already checking AUD USD because all currencies, all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if we check the data for the AUD, so already AUD USD, we can notice how with the last reports, net positions have actually been decreased. We went in fact from having minus 32.2k net positions all the way down to minus 71.8k net positions, therefore showing a decrease of net positioning that makes AUD weaker, so makes AUD USD weaker. However, we can notice how longs have now started to be added as well from an institutional perspective, but still we see more shorts than longs getting added. This means that there is definitely a possibility if the market will create this W formation to see a correction fueled by this institutional shorting, which is still going on. So if the market would create this W formation, what I would expect in a situation like this? Well, as usual, 
First of all, trading is reactive and not predictive. And the monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the CO2 data, those are the best timeframes from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in a trend of a market, the best time frames for that are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bullish market to an intraday bearish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential push lower, completing this W formation before then continuing higher. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in the description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here. You have the possibility to gain access to the most complete, all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you do continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that Directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And. I will see you in my next breakdown.